A small test team from the 418th Flight Test Squadron has been tasked with replacing a legacy, but not before this last assignment has been completed to improve the entire C-130's Hercules fleet, as well as ensuring the safety of future Hercules aircrews. The squadron's C-130 wheel brake system improvement program is testing the performance of carbon brakes and the new Mark IV digital anti-skid control unit for the aircraft. The new system is needed to replace the C-130's legacy brake system. primary objective is to make sure the carbon brake in the Mark IV is equivalent to or better than the legacy steel brake in the Mark II. And once the test is successful, then you will be retrofitted to all the C-130 uh, aircraft other than the C-130Js. So far, different test points have included observing how the carbon brakes perform with different cargo weights and wet runway tests to evaluate the digital anti-skid system. In addition to this, team members have been monitoring temperatures to determine how hot the brakes get during maximum effort braking and to evaluate the cooling profile of the brakes. So the one thing that you, you do find with steel brakes is that they uh, cannot handle as much heat and they certainly heat up a lot quicker than a carbon brake does. But the nice thing about steel brakes is they dissipate the heat a little bit more quickly. So we're finding that the carbon brakes take a little bit longer to cool, but their capacity to handle heat is a lot better. We're increasing in our testing from weight band to weight band. We've done all of the legacy or baseline testing of the aircraft itself and have actually gone about 75% of the way through the new brake system. And so far, it looks very promising. The testing is scheduled to wrap up in July. After that, the 1962-built C-130, tail number 62-1824, will make its final journey back to Little Rock Air Force Base, where it will be decommissioned. Jet Fabera, Edwards Air Force Base, California. This has been Dateline Edwards. If you have questions or comments, we'd like to hear from you. Please send us an email at channel.6 at edwards.af.mil.